Quickly put it in the hands of Shaq Washington, and he is run out of bounds by Vaughn Bell, about two yards shy of the first down. That's a block. So as Coach Mason pointed out, they're going to try and get it out of Gunnar Keel's hands immediately. Short drop. What a throw. And the catch is made, the first down up to the 40-yard line. I think that's impressive about this. We know he's got a big arm, but look at the touch that he put on the ball. Rolling it again on first down. And looking down the sideline deep. And it is caught. And that is a touchdown for Cincinnati. 60 yards to Chris Moore. Turned around, he put, could have not knocked the ball down. Well, you know, the, the inside receiver gives you a lot more room. But as you said, you know, the defensive back, he has got to look for the ball when the receiver looks for it, and he didn't. But it all starts, we talked about, if you give Gunner Keel time to throw the football with these receivers, he's going to... Well, you'll see it right here, the pass to Chris Moore. He runs a, a fade route to the inside receiver, which gives you more room when you're the inside receiver than the outside. He's 19 years old. Went to Lakota East High School, just north of the campus in Clifton. And the catch is made up to the 24-yard line. A bullet. And the catch is made for a first down. The rest is history. Keel this time under a little bit of pressure, but underneath finds Shaq Washington, and that will move the change yet again. For six, 101 yards and a touchdown. Blitz coming. Looking down the field at a double coverage, and that's his first incompleted pass. Far side, and not much room that time to make pull. So this will... three-man rush underneath and denied the first down for the first time is Cincinnati so the Bearcats who has a winning record two games or more sack of the ball is loose and just batted out of the end zone for a safety Joey Bosa delivering the hit on Gunner Keith now there is a penalty flag down Layfield, the big left tackle. That's not a bad one, Coach. Well, Joey Bosa sets that tackle up. He makes the inside move. Classic play. Didn't hit him in the head. And I, this is Joey Bosa. When I watched him play a year ago as a freshman, if I was playing against him, Tom, I'd say, I want to see his birth certificate. This guy <laughs> way ahead of his years, and man, he's good. He had seven and a half sacks as a true freshman last year. Had 14 times. This is a quarterback's worst nightmare. I've got no time. You talk about getting the ball out of your hands fast? Uh-uh. Can't do it. Uh, first down. Keel set up the screen. Big hit over on the far sideline. 11 yards. Throwing a touchdown. And has a fumble. Ball bat in the air. And incomplete. Want to give Gimme throws to the offense anymore. Corner play soft. That's pitching. Incomplete. It looked like a couple times the quarterback, and then you see Ohio State coming. You lose your confidence and everybody's picked up. You figure there's got to be some guys coming in. After the Cincinnati timeout. Good protection. And a dangerous throw. Broken up by Armani Reeves, a junior quarterback. It was a good drive, but this is exactly what Urban Meyer was talking about. He wants to challenge all these throws. He Keel hanging on to this one and fooled everybody, and he'll slide down to the 25-yard line. He's got that slide down pretty good, too. Put it in the hands of Shaq Washington. Run out of bounds by Vaughn Bell. Keel in 
trouble. Now lots of green in front of him, but he'll slide down in front of Perry. Throw to the corner and thrown a little bit too far behind the intended receiver. Bearcats trying to change yet. Keel crossing underneath is Houghton, and he is inside the five. And did he get in? It is a touchdown. Nice play call there. Johnny Houghton, the fast. Really a good play because limited risk, high reward. Thrown behind the line of scrimmage, and Houghton looks like a pretty good intermural. To take the shotgun snap. They throw it to the far side, and the catch is made by Nate Cole. Gives him a little bit of breathing room. Not a lot, but a little bit. That is a first down reception. Up to the 17-yard line. Keel steps up, looking for the long one. And it is caught! Steps up, good protection. Little wobbly pass, but Chris Moore is so wide open. Look at it here. Really thrown off his back foot. He's got a strong arm. I don't know what happened to Apple, but he was he must have been on the first move by the wide receiver. And Gunner Keel. T. Barrett, don't try to be or play or be anybody else but who he is. Uh, they accepted me with all of my faults and some of my strengths, so I think they're touchdowns north of the border. Wide open down the middle of the field is Moore, and nobody's going to catch him. Can you believe this? Gunner Keel doing the overhauling. You see him pump the arm and the head. High State took the bait. He threw it on in there. Hey, we got a game here tonight, Columbus. Well, watch this. Buckeye fans are saying, how can this happen? It's a simple play. Watch how it develops. Now freeze it right there. He's going to pump fake there and hit the slant, but the key is the safety's running this way for the play over here. They catch it. You have no depth in your defense. It's off to the races. Total bust. Medical center treating the shed muscular dystrophy. Dangerous attempt there. And probably lucky for Gunnar Keel. That ball was tipped in the line of scrimmage by Michael Bennett. Yeah, they went back to the well one time too often. He gave that pump fake and was going to lay it up. But it was well defended. And now the crowd's back into it. Catch made by Mikhail McKay. We have not called his name much today, and he's the Bearcats leading receiver coming into this one. They went back to Eli Apple's side and Rolling the long one again. And this one too tall for McKay. Third down and 26. Barry. Incomplete there. Trying to set up a screen. It looked like the Cincinnati kid, Adolphus Washington, blew that thing up right from the start. Blitz coming. Incomplete. I mean, they had a host of Buckeyes. They had the linebacker coming. Like you mentioned, they had everybody going in there. Well, every mom and dad can understand that. You know, the luckiest guy in the, in the stadium way out there. Better Pretty good. Believe that all day, every day. And that is a first-down catch up to Alex Chisholm. Touchdown, 83-yard touchdown, 78-yard touchdown, all to Chris Moore. 
And that one dropped close to midfield. Have a location in your area or watch on BTN 2GO. And again, that is btn.com slash game. They're down to 10, only a three-man rush. And they're just going to let them catch the ball. And none of those yards after the catch. First time the tight end, DJ Dowdy, has caught it. At halftime. They've, they've been dominated here in the second half. But again, they had a penalty that, that did not go their way, or else it could have been, who knows, another touchdown drive. In fact, they probably will be thinking, finish it right after this play. It's a third down and one, and dropped in the backfield is Keels. So he, he knows he has a problem.